and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We say that in such a serious tone, but anyway, today we're <laughs> going to talk about seven minute, we're going to show a seven minute good morning chair workout for seniors at home, alone or group, no equipment needed. That's right. Bob, but this there is, is equipment needed, you need a chair. Well, we need a chair, uh, but Bob, there's so many people that want to do some exercises, but don't feel safe maybe doing standing ones. Right. Uh, and it's a good way to start the morning. Uh, no equipment needed. Uh, the seven minutes may vary depending on how long or how right. fast you go through it. So we're going to probably take a little longer to yeah, explain Yeah, because we're going to be showing stuff. To make sure you do, do them it. properly. Right. So uh, join in and we're going to have some fun exercising. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Yeah. Also, get the chance. To, if you get the chance, go to bobandbrad.com. We got a giveaway section. We're always doing the giveaway. giveaway. This week, we're giving away some suspension workout straps. Oh, if, yes. If you know what they are, you, you'll you'll find these to be of the highest quality right. and a very low expense. Uh, but if you don't know what they are, watch our video on it. Right. We just so, made two of them. Yeah. Go to Facebook, and you'll find the contest pinned to the top of the page. That's right. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. All right, All right Bob. I'm going to turn to the side, Brad, so they can get my profile, my big beak. Yeah, well, yeah, the, his left side is a good side. There's no good side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's no good side. So one thing before you get started, and I think everyone will have this, it's important that you do this in a firm chair. Don't do it in a recliner. A soft, squishy chair is not going to be a good option. So one with armrests is nice. It actually can be helpful, but you don't have to. Bob has one without. I have one with, and we'll go through the whole thing. Now, these first two things aren't, you may not think they're exercises, but they are incredibly important to do before we get into the, the more stretching part of these, and that is, first thing, take a deep breath. <sighs> Breathe in your nose, fill up those lungs, get your posture back, and exhale. Do this three times. It's good to go through the mouth when you're breathing out through pursed lips, like you're yeah. blowing out a candle. So you're kind of giving some resistance, and then breathe in through your nose, Fill up those lungs, so incredibly important to do this. And now we're going to work on that posture, which you kind of do that when you breathe. So shoulders back, sitting up tall. Make sure you tuck your bottom, your butt, back in that chair so you uh, have good tall posture. There we go. And the next thing we're going to do is start out with chin tuck. So we're going to bring the chin in kind of towards your throat and back. So not down. Not down, not up, not straight up. back. Yep. Just Someone's like throwing that. a pie in your face. The repetitions, you should do at least three, but, you know, five of them would probably be better. You could go up to ten, but not more than ten. Okay, we'll do between five and ten here. And continue to be relaxed. There you go. You know, get some music in the continue background. Continue to breathe. Yep. Breathing is very important. Now we're going to go to trunk rotations. So you're going to look over your right and then over to your left. Now, if this feels pretty good and you have armrests, you can grab the armrest and give a little overpressure, but not too aggressive. And I'm just grabbing my leg, Brad. There you go. Yep. Leg or armrest. I really like the overpressure on this one. This is really nice. If you're still driving, it really helps that range of motion so you can look behind you when you're If you uh, have one of those up. vehicles, they have backup mirror cameras on the newer vehicles now, Brad. Well, I know, but some people don't have I it. No, I know. I, I, my most but this is good, though, have... you know. You know, after you know driving for 30 years, you kind of get a habit. Really want to emphasize, by the way, really good posture when you do those. Don't right. be going like this and turning. Hey, exactly, yeah. Bob. Thank you for yeah. that reminder. The next one is our uh, Bob's... Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So we're just going to lean back and bring your arms up. And depending on your shoulders, if you have tight shoulders, just bring them up as far as you feel comfortable. We don't want to irritate any shoulder impingement. You know, if you want to bring your hands behind your head, you can. Out to the side. 
Breathe in. And you got to say it, Brad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Life is good, <laughs> and we're going to enjoy it. While we're still on this <laughs> earth. While we're still on the chairs here. Okay, next one, we're going to go to the hands. Hands out in front of you. Uh, gentle wrists, and so don't make tight wrists, and do circles. Take a deep breath. Make sure you go both directions five or ten times. Get those wrists. There's a lot of little bones in those wrists. They're kind of a complicated joint. It's nice to keep them loose. And then we're going to open hands and close the fists. Open and close. Open and close. You can really feel all those. There's so many joints going right now with this. If you, we counted them, I should have did that before the video. Yeah, there's a lot we of joints. We got 30 to 40 that are all together. All right. And then we're going to good posture. We're going to go to the legs and the hips. Marching. Get those knees up one at a time as high as you can. Do, 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 do. Ah. Ten times, typically on one leg. So if you count one, two, it'd be twenty. You know what uh, I just read yesterday, Brad? That if this hurts yep. in the hip, that's one of the signs of hip arthritis. Oh, really? That. Yeah. The seated march. Okay. It was one of the tests they were doing. Sure. Active flexion. Oh, I see. Yep. Now we're going to go to kicks, or we call them long arc cards, but like this. I'm getting pretty close to you, Brad. Oh yeah, be careful there, Bob. Um, make sure on this one that you, you don't just kind of do these short cheating ones. They're, they're not going to benefit your knees as well. Good posture. Up and hold it. Nice. For those of the, you that sit a lot during the day, mm -hmm. this is a good one to do throughout the day. Yeah. Very good for knees. Uh, you get a little bit of strengthening, but you also get some movement. It stretches the hamstrings. And if you right. pull your toes up towards your nose, you're going to feel a more stretch back under here. In the, ham, in the uh, calf. Yep, exactly. So that's a nice way to uh, make that exercise complete. You get more benefit out of it that way. Okay, now we're just going to leave the legs down in front, kind of on your heels, and ankle pumps. Now, ankle pumps, the most important part of this is when you pull your toes up towards your nose, keep your heels on the floor, but that stretches those heel cords and strengthens these muscles here, which is really important for when you walk so that you don't drag your toes when you walk, because that's a fall risk. Yep. So this is a really important one. It's a small exercise, but it's really, really important. All right, now this one, we're gonna go back to this position and you're gonna take your right leg and touch over as far as you can to the right. I call them toe touches. Sure. Back here. Oh, I touched my heel. Then the other one. Well, you can touch your heel. But I, I like to go with the toe, but heel is okay. I'm taller, so yeah. I don't think it, I have to go like that to touch my toe. Oh, sure. Oh. Whatever works. And this one, you know, is nice to have the armrest as well. But, you know, you don't have to. And going back to what I was just talking about, like with hip arthritis, this is one of the directions that you start to lose. Sure. With, with hip arthritis is going out like this. So... You, it's a good one to try to maintain that yep. as long as you can. This reminds me of that, was it the Russian hat dance? Uh, Except for, uh, no, yeah. They're going like this. <laughs> uh, but without a chair. Without a chair, yeah. <laughs> now, we did, this is 11 altogether. There's 12 of them. This last one is optional. It's more aggressive. You do have to have armrests. Um, and we're just going to push up like this and do chair push-ups, we call them. No, I'm just pushing off the chair, yeah. okay? so that really yeah, doesn't work. The, the idea is you're going to kind of strengthen those arms a little bit because a lot of people will push off right. from there, and it gets those arms stronger for getting up. You know, if you're strong enough, you may be able to get up there, and some people will. If you're not, like I said, this is an optional exercise. And you can use your legs to help. Sure. I mean, yep. if, you, if you're weak, yep. um, you can start at that and then eventually go to more and yep. more arms. You, you could do this. If you don't have yeah. armrests, as long as you feel stable and you don't feel like you're going to fall forward. There you go, Bob. That's it. All right. I feel revived, Brad. I feel ready for the day. And I think we're very close to seven minutes right there. Sure. So, uh, Funny really, how that worked out. No, Bob, the, the number seven, it is complete. Yeah, all right. I'm glad you love th it. Good things will happen so, when you work with it. Peace out. I don't know what that means. <laughs>